Good evening, everyone. Don is off tonight. The superintendent of Silver Creek Schools is finally speaking out after allegations that school officials are locking students inside a so-called isolation room. The superintendent says those claims are false, and the district ordered the administrator who blew the whistle to stop talking about it. News 4's Sarah Minkowitz has been looking into this tonight. Sarah? Dave and Jackie, school superintendent Todd Crandall says the district uses a de-escalation room to calm students, which he says, quote, has never been used as a form of punishment or have any negative implications. The parent claims against the district say otherwise. The district does not now, nor has it ever used an isolation cell, nor has it ever locked a child in a room alone. Silver Creek School Superintendent Todd Crandall released these photos showing where students are sent if they're acting out in class. He says the area beyond the glass is the district's de-escalation room. This is widely accepted across New York State in addressing the needs of children who simply require some time alone in a quiet place to gather their thoughts in composures. This method is creating criticism throughout the district after Silver Creek's assistant director of elementary programming, Jay Hall, wrote a letter to the board describing the room as a cold cinder block jail like cell. In his letter, he adds, students have been inhumanely and illegally locked or barricaded inside. The superintendent says that's not true. That is also false. The room does not lock from the inside. A person cannot be locked in the room. Paul has been placed on administrative leave and the district sent him a cease and desist order. It's a very aggressive approach based on the allegations and we will certainly abide by that cease and desist order and let the facts play themselves out through other parts. News 4 reached out to Mike Cornell, who's the president of the Erie Niagara School Superintendents Association, asking if de-escalation rooms are common in schools. I think it's a fact that every school has a space in it, or sometimes it's a space within a particular classroom that supports a student who's in the midst of a moment where he or she is having difficulty controlling their emotions. Nobody locks kids in a room in a soundproof room. Um, you know, every professional who works in a school comes to the school because they love children, right? We, we love and care for these children every single day as though they're our own. Now in the video message from the Silver Creek superintendent, he says New York State Police inspected the room today and raised no concerns as to the safety of the room. He added the district will fully cooperate with law enforcement as this investigation continues. In the studio, Sarah Mikowitz, News 4.